pride. It's not as if we have any better. All these men of God, pastors that are here, we just don't have time. Many of them live very reckless lives. They drank all kinds of things. Indeed, one of our pastors, he stopped drinking maybe about 30 years ago or 20 years ago. When he was celebrating his birthday, his friend said, if they use a breathalyzer for him, that he will still be positive. Talking about the amount of booze that he had. We have a lot of people that have died in their sin. Did terrible things. Many of us, when we were at the university, it was horrible. People were having disco inside swimming pool and they can't swim. We call it swim disco. We can't swim. Yet we go underwater and you're dancing. What foolishness. People of God, many of us should have died. Terrible things. And there are many of our elders that are here that if they open their book and tell you what they have done, you will know that, that they are alive today is only by the mercies of God. The money you have, you don't deserve it if God was to mark sin. The healing, many of us do not deserve it. The deliverance, we don't deserve it if God was to mark sin. How many of us have not lied this year? Not. Not. Oh. Pastors should not put up their hands. Amen. We have to cover their nakedness. <laughs> not. Nobody. Amen. But in Acts chapter 5, Ananias and Sapphira, one lie. Just one. And both husband and wife. So you are here today because the mercy of God has kept you. If it was to mark your life sin for sin if God was to mark sin none of us can stand